All right, Travis, can you tell them what we're doing? Yeah, um, we're, doing, we're doing an improved uh, thrust test. Uh, basically, the concept with this is that uh, all the thrust is directed upward, so we're not uh, we're not having to do anything to keep the the platform from lifting off of the scale. And as we uh, power up the props, we can actually measure the thrust. Can you uh, turn the power up a little bit? So, as you can see, we have it zeroed out right now. Alright, uh, as we increase the input to the motor, you can actually read off um, the, th the thrust that's coming off the propeller. And uh, we can relate the thrust to the uh, power output of our prop using the density of the air and the uh, area of the prop. Ricky's going to talk about the, our, the way that we're measuring the power draw. Uh, like Travis said, we find our new method of basically measuring the thrust. Uh, we also got here measuring the voltage and the current draw uh, according to the PWM signal that's given. Uh, we, this information is useful because now we can find out the amount of thrust or PWM signal needed to get into a hover position and then we can calculate the amount of uh, current draw is needed so then we can find the average uh, flight time. With this information, we can choose the correct battery to power our system with the uh, recommended flight time of 10 minutes. Okay. Here's an example of actual current reading. Ha, ha, ha.